Hello everyone, I'm Priyansh from Team Signals. Thanks so much for tuning in. In this tutorial, we will uh, demonstrate how to instrument a PHP application with OpenTelemetry. In order to do that, we will use a sample PHP application and instrument the sample app with OpenTelemetry libraries. OpenTelemetry enables you to generate telemetry data like logs, metrics, and traces from your application. You then need a backend to send the collected telemetry data. In this tutorial, we will use Signals, an open source APM application performance management tool built to support open telemetry natively. So let's get started. We will use the following blog, open telemetry PHP, monitoring a PHP application with open telemetry. There are basically four things that we are going to do. First is install Signos. Second, clone the sample PHP app. And then uh, we instrument the app with OpenTelemetry and then set, uh, set the OpenTelemetry exporter endpoint to a specified port of the machine where Signos in, is installed. And then finally, we use Signos dashboards to analyze metrics and traces. So let's, let's install Signos so that OpenTelemetry can send data to it. And for the purpose of this video, we will install Signos locally on this machine. I'm using the M1 MacBook Air. Signals can be installed on Mac OS or Linux computers in just three easy steps by using the following installation script. And let me scroll down to the part. And this is Signals and Open Telemetry. You can read that and then uh, install in Signals. So we can copy this piece of code, go to my item terminal, and I have already uh, copied the code. Let me hit enter. It's cloning Signals and it will install Signals on this machine. Our installation is uh, complete and the front end application signals is running at localhost 3301. Let me share my email real quick. And yeah. Let me head over to localhost 3310. Signals provides role based access control features. So you can create an account with an admin access and then you invite your team members to collaborate. Since I have my login credentials, I will log in. This is the first screen that you will see after the login. What you see currently on the screen are the four applications that come with the hot prod demo application that, that we ship with Signos. You can also install Signos without them. Now we will instrument the PHP application. And for that, we need uh, a sample PHP app that's, that is already, uh, already provided with Signos. Here it is, the GitHub repository for the sample app. So first we need to clone that app and I have already cloned it and it's open in my VS code editor. And then we'll call the step. The step two says to install the required dependencies from the total PHP library. And let's getting started console exporter PHP. So this uh, are the packages that we need to use. Step three says to initialize the tracer module and create uh, a tracer. So the location is uh, src.1 getting started console exporter.php and the tracer exporter uh, is uh, initialized yeah, right here. Then step four says to create spans and uh, we have created the spans in the code. Here it is. And then we create and initialize our first span then second span and then we uh, make sure to end them. And after doing the changes as described in the blog post, this is how it looks when uh, everything is assembled with a bit of error handling. So this is the whole file as you currently see uh, on the screen. Great. And now it's time to run the PHP application. So let me just go there and what are the steps written on the readme section? It says first we need to Composer install. Let's go ahead and Composer install. Yes, we did that successfully. So let me copy this code. Run here and uh, run. Okay. So everything is, the data we see here is consoled out to the terminal. And that's, that's intended behavior. Now we'll see the output like this. So name is bar, context, trace ID. This is exactly what we see in here. 
name is who uh, oops, yeah, name bar contact id trace state etc etc and yeah then we need to monitor the php application with signals and for that we will be generating some spans using a for loop so the file location for that is uh, src slash two then trace to collector.php and for that we need to import some ortal and guzzle dependencies so that is also done for us um, right here. Um, these packages, <coughs> dependencies, sorry. And then we need to define the environment variable for the old OLTP endpoint. And Signos uses port 4318 to listen to the data collected by OpenTelemetry from PHP application. And uh, since we have installed Signos on localhost, the OLTP will be HTTP uh, localhost. 4318 v1 slash traces. So this defines the environment variable for it. The signals total collector path. And then we initialize the exporter, ex, uh, exporter's new OLTP exporter. And here it is. Then we initialize the tracer provider with the exporter. This is the tracer provider that we just talked about. And then uh, we activate your root span, then we create initialize set data and end spans inside the for loop. This is the this is how the for loop looks like. And then we end the root span. And then finally, we run the PHP application. And for that, we need to be in the root directory of the sample app. So let's uh, go back a step and just copy this code. <clears throat> Hit enter, you'll see this file getting created, which says OLTP example complete. Yeah, once you run your application, you can interact with a bet to generate some dummy monitoring uh, data. Let me open up the Signos dashboard, go to traces and uh, the service name will appear in a, in a short while. Yeah, you can see the service name, Signos PHP app. So. As you can see, we have the service of the Signos PHP app, and you can sort it out by ascending and descending order according to the latency. Let's click on one of the service trace, and this is what we get the flame graph and gain charts to kind of uh, get more insight, insight of what things are currently going on. The flame graphs and the gain charts make it easy to deconstruct a trace into its components. And moreover, you can also see the contextual data for an event with tags and events in the rightmost pane. So I'm using the Darwin type of OS, the process PID, um, the SDK name, and so on and so forth. The service name, etc. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions about Signos, definitely reach out to us on our Slack channel, a place where we discuss things around open source observability and APM. Links to everything will be in the description below. Looking, looking forward to your feedback on how we can make signals better. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.